you have investment portfolio. For example, you want to invest long term in stocks or bonds, but in every single book or website or whenever you go, you will see one fact. All financial ad advisors will tell you that you should have cash and gold in your portfolio or any pressure metals. So why is that? And uh, why is gold so important? And in this video, we will try to answer this question. Hello, my name is Igor and this is FX Igor YouTube channel. And today we will first see what is recession. Experts declare recession with the nation's economy experience a negative gross domestic product, rising levels of unemployment, failing retail sales, contractor measures of income and manufacturing, etc., etc. But let me see the picture. So, in recession, usually, we will have increase of unemployment rate because during the recession, companies and, and stocks will price will fall down and the companies will have a problem. They will try to cut the costs and uh, a lot of employees will lose their job positions and we will have unemployment rate increase. Okay, this is simple, but let me see further. How recession looks like? If we start to just uh, watch from after Second World War, from something after 1945 till today, you will see there is a recession always falls a bear market and you can see a huge drops in that bear market. For example, during the 1947, we have a uh, 28% or 20%, then uh, we had a, a huge, huge crash. And as you remember, the most important part as a uh, great recession during the during the 2007, 2008, 2009 and later. And uh, that period, we had almost a more than 50% drop in one moment. And it was a, it was a huge. But let me understand, let me just watch in this this way. So the thing that I want to know when we have a recession, how long will that recession be? So if we just just watch using the months, you will see that we had a big recession in 2009 and we had for example 131.4 weeks and uh, we have a uh, we have a lot of a lot of problems during the big recession uh, that was uh, more than 13 13 years ago and if we analyze and see every 10 or 15 years we have a uh, some kind of recession some recession are very weak couple months but some recession can be huge analysts and professionals in this this area they think that because of a huge price pump and the huge stocks price rise in the future and right now we will have more and more stronger drops because we have a very strong bullish trends and uh, when we hit very strong recession after that that we need a long term for recovery and uh, as you can see the biggest recession that we remember it was a uh, okay that our uh, our our economists remember is a recession during the 30s and uh, from the great depression in 1929 and then when we analyze bull and bear markets we can see that that recession when we compare a number of um, months and weeks that we need to recover is twice less than recession that we have in this century and this is the something that we need to think and this is the something that we need to think so recession duration can be a couple years can be more and more in the future and we cannot predict that easily but we need to be aware of that that it, recession it can be not just a couple months can be just just longer and you just need to keep that in head because it's a uh, it's uh, like a bird. If you fly up, 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 and up, when you fall down, your fall be much bigger because you was on a very high, very high price. And uh, this is the this is the thing that I just want to point right now. 
let me talk about gold and the basic question that we have when we have a recession we'll go will gold we go up or down and for that question if you use historical analysis the answer is simple gold has usually been positive during recessions on this chart we created an analysis i i got this chart from the fed where we have only two examples when the gold didn't go high during the recession but there is explanation the first one that you see on the chart is a red red color it's a minus 1.8 percent recession during the 1981 but there is a catch there actually this recession is one recession it's recession from the 1980s to 1980 almost 1980 83 so it's a three years recession and uh as you can see at 1980 during recession when recession start we had 27.6 percent gold price rise and this is the normal for recession and when government start to do some things to to stop that kind of recession after a while gold course dropped and this is because of that actually these we can change this if just we watch a recession from 1980 up to 1983 you know when gold start to rise it's not it's not a several years of rising trend now it can be several months or one year but it's important in that moment when our stocks go down 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 we protect that investments investing in st in gold or precious metals and because of that we have cash and gold as a normal thing and investment portfolios of course we have another another moment when gold was down and during the recession and it was in 1990 but there is uh, other problems there this recession was artificial recession so we had a um, u.s attack on the panama we have a uh, iraq iran and kuwait uh, war we have uh, several wars there we have a uh, government intervention in one special direction and this made the, the the small the small drop in gold during that recession but if you see gold were were high in 1988 and uh, this small recession in stocks price just uh, was uh, the, the small recession in uh, gold too and uh, if we think a little bit gold has usually been positive during recessions but this is not the rule it's just a historical fact the next thing that we want to see let me see the steps so the step number one we have a high inflation pump 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 price in the stores are higher and higher and we have that right now last i think a couple of years but last year it was a it was a huge inflation rise now we have a step two government intervention usually interest rate increase is an excellent tool to try to make inflation down but if you do that you will do another thing intervention for interest rate increase during interest rate increase will increase the dollar price now we have higher and higher dollar but there is a one moment here in that moment when you increase price of the dollar you can see the gold price is going sideways why because you see equation gold slash dollar when dollar increase gold slash dollar will decrease because you don't have a gold price exactly for trading it has a you have a gold price correlated with us dollar and uh, in this step three we can see moderate bullish trend for gold but not strong bullish trend why because gold because the dollar is so strong we have a when you have a very very strong dollar you cannot have gold slash dollar high price i can, i just say this when I say you cannot have, I mean usually you cannot have because everything is possible today in today's economy. Now, recession is coming and you see weeks and weeks when S&P 500 and Dow Jones and all indexes are, are down. In that moment, we will see 
interesting thing. Many investors turn to gold to protect their assets. Why? Because we have a bearish market in stocks. Every single day, bearish, bearish, bearish. You cannot buy. You can, but you wait to see what will happen. So what investors do? Some just sold the stocks take a cash and wait. Some other keep their stocks and everything that they have, but 15% from their equity, they invest in precious metals. And now when stocks go down and gold rise up, but very strong rise, they keep their portfolio without loss. And they wait the moment to sell the gold and then again to enter into some new stock trade or keep gold and buy gold more and the last slide is this the question does gold go up in recession i cannot give you 100 percent answer on this question why because i cannot see the future it's hard to predict but what i can see if we analyze history last hundred years of the history we can say that based on the past performance usually during recession gold go is going up and this is not just a technical analysis. I see the charts and this is it. Because this is the fundamental question. There is an answer to this question. Because during recession, investors cannot invest in stocks. Actually, they can. But it's not smart. During recession, you wait some time, you say to see the recovery. And then when you see recovery, you enter and buy stocks. And S&P 500 and Dow Jones and all these indices are a very important indicator where is the market right now. And uh, what traders like to do, a lot of traders, they have a rule. For example, the rule can be on the chart, if, if the moving average, daily moving average is below 200, I don't want to enter and buy stocks. I wait to see the S&P 500 is above 200 and I see that the market is trying to recover and then I will start to buy stocks again. And this is the usually the best, the best, the best option. And uh, for traders, the best thing is to invest in gold. Because of that, we plan to create a series of videos about this topic. And the next video is very important. We will give an answer how to invest during a recession, how to protect your, your pension fund, how to protect your 401k. So in next videos, we'll talk about gold IRA and uh, we'll talk about gold investments opportunities. I wish you a great day and bye-bye.